Welcome to our online. This JE advanced question has to do with standing waves. We need to know the frequency, we need to know the wavelength, the speed of the wave, and so forth, all associated with the possible answers. Notice they give us four possible answers, and any one, as many as all four, could be correct. Now let's read the problem and see why they gave, they gave us those four possible answers. It says that one end of a tout spring of length 3 meters along the x-axis is fixed at x equals 0. The speed of the waves in the string is 100 meters per second. The other end of the string is vibrating in the y direction so that the stationary waves are set up in the string. The possible waveforms of these stationary waves is, and there are the four possibilities. So right away we need to realize the general equation of a standing wave. And the general equation looks like this. That y is a function of t is equal to a times the sine of kx times the cosine of omega t. And so we can recognize that the k can be pi over 6, pi over 3, 5 pi over 6, 5 pi over 2, potentially, and omega can be 50 pi over 3, 100 pi over 3, 250 pi over 3, or 250 pi. But before we can make some sense out of that, we should draw some quick diagrams. Now, you may not have the time to do that on the test, but at least to help us understand what we're doing here is, well, let's see here. Yeah, I don't want to draw it in a pipe, although it kind of looks like that, but let's do it like this. So let's say that we have our first waveform like this, where it's fixed on one end and we're able to vibrate on the other end. And so we know that the length is equal to 3 meters, which is from there to there. And then we can see here that in this case, that uh, lambda, the wavelength, is equal to 4 times the length of the string. The next possible way in which things can vibrate would be kind of like this. Like that. Again, the length is 3 meters, but in this case we can see that lambda is equal to 4 thirds L. Then the next possible vibrational mode would look like this. Again, the length is equal to 3 meters, and then we can see then here that the wavelength is equal to uh, that would be uh, uh, 4 over 5 times the length of the string and so forth. And so since the length of the string is 3 meters, then this would be 12 meters, then this would be 12 divided by 3, which would be 4 meters, this would be uh, 12 divided by 5 meters, and so forth. So that would be the, the wavelength of each of these vibrational modes. So you can see the pattern now would be 4L, 4 thirds L, 4 fifths L, 4 sevenths L, 4 ninths L, 4 eleventh L, and so forth. So you can see that the pattern goes from 4 over 1 to 4 over 3 to 4 over 5, 4 over 7, 4 over 9, 4 over 11 L. So that's, you can see the pattern of the wavelength as you have more and more vibrational modes. Now that takes care of the K because notice that K is equal to uh, Let's see here, uh, 2 pi over lambda. <laughs> I have to think about it for a moment, but yeah. So k is equal to 2 pi over lambda, and notice that lambda would be defined by these numbers in the various vibrational modes. Now we need to do the same for omega. Notice that omega is equal to 2 pi f. We also know that the velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, so we can see that the frequency can be written as v over lambda. So omega can be written as 2 pi times v over lambda. Now v is 100 meters per second right here. So we can say that omega is equal to 2 times 100 or 200 pi divided by lambda. So these are all the possible omegas we can have. And then here these are all the possible k's that we can have that then go into the equations right there to see if we can get the correct combinations. So lambda, again, would be defined by all these various vibrational modes. So we see that lambda can be 4L, lambda can be 4 thirds L, can be 4 fifths L, can be 4 sevenths L, 4 ninths L, 4 elevenths L, and so forth. Now what we want to do is set up a table very quick to see which ones are possible. So starting with, uh, so we have K, and the first K is going to be 2 pi divided by lambda, but lambda is going to start with 12. So we have 2 pi divided by 12, which is pi over 6. 
And notice on the first one we have sine of kx. So pi over 6 is a possible combination. So at least that makes a possible, but we haven't checked the omega yet. All right. So the next one would be k equals 2 pi divided by the next vibrational mode, which is uh, 4 thirds L, which is 4. So 2 pi over 4, which is equal to uh, pi over 2. And notice we don't have any pi over 2 there, so we don't have that as a possibility. Pi over 3, yes, but not pi over 2. So in the next vibrational mode would be 2 pi divided by... So the next vibration mode would be 4 fifths L, that would be 12 over 5, so we put a 12 there, over 5, the 5 goes in the numerator, which is 10 pi over 12, which is 5 pi over 6. And notice 5 pi over 6 is right there, that's this combination, so C would be possibility. And then the next one would be K equals 2 pi, uh, 5 over 12, 12 over 5, so the 4 thirds L, that would be 12 over 7, that would be 12 over 9, 12 over 11, and so forth. So let's go over here, so it would be 2 pi times uh, 7 over 12, so it would be 1 sixth, that would be equal to 7 pi over 6, and notice we don't have that over there, okay, so that's not there. How about the next possibility would be 2 pi times 12 over 9, so it would be times 9 over 12, which is equal to 1 6 times 9, that would be 9 pi over 6, which is 3 pi over 2. And notice we don't have that possibility there. The next vibrational mode, k is equal to 2 pi divided by, uh, then now we have 12 over 11, so 12 times 11, so that would be 1 6, that would be equal to uh, 11 pi. 11 pi over 6. We don't have that one either. Now we'll try one more. And so we have k is equal to 2 pi. The next one would be 12 over 13. That would be uh, 12 times 13. That would be 1 6. That would be 13 pi over 6. That still doesn't do it. How about the next possible vibrational mode? k is equal to 2 pi. The next one would be 12 over 15. That would be 12 times 15, like this. And so it gives us a 1 sixth. That would give us 15 pi over 6. And that would be 5 pi over 2. And notice we have a 5 pi over 2. So that would be a possibility as well. So the possible combinations are pi over 6. That would be the first vibrational mode. The next one was 5 pi over 6, which is this one right here. And then the last one was over here, 12 over 15. So that means that these three, so A, C, and D, are possible answers because they match the A sign of Kx. We found the correct K by looking at all the variable, uh, uh, all the different vibrational modes. Notice they made us go way out to this one right here, where the final vibrational mode would be uh, 4 fifteenths, that would be 4 over 15 L, which also gave us the correct answer in part D. So now we need to do the same thing for the omega, or you can say at this point, look, I'm just going to guess A, C, and D and hope I'm correct. That's dangerous to do, of course. So let's try the omega equivalent. So here we have K equals 2 pi over uh, lambda, lambda being 12, so omega is equal to 200 pi over, the wavelength would be 12 meters, so in this case that would be equal to 100 over 6, or 50 over 3, so 50 pi over 3, and notice we have a 50 pi over 3 there, which means the pi over 6 for the first one here matches the 50 pi over 3 for the omega, so definitely A is a possible answer. Since we didn't find this one right here, we can just go ahead and skip that. So the next one we found was with lambda being 12 over 5. So we go omega is equal to 200 pi divided by 12 over 5. So 12 goes here, 5 goes to the numerator. So in this case, that would be 12, uh, 200 over 12 is 50 over 3 times 5 would be 250 pi over 3. 
So do we have that over here? Sure enough, in the next vibrational mode that gives us this k, we got the we got the corresponding omega, so that means that C is a good answer as well. And finally, we found the last K right here, wave number, 5 pi over 2. Uh, 2 pi over 12, what's 5 pi over 2? We can then find the corresponding omega. Omega is equal to 200 pi divided by 12 times 15. Notice that is 5 over 4. So divide by 4, which is 50 times 5, that would be 250 pi. And notice the 250 pi is what we have over here. So the k has the correct corresponding value for omega, which means that d is the correct answer. Notice that took a lot of time. It helps to draw out the schematics to see the different waveforms, so you can see the corresponding wavelength for each of the um, specific uh, waveform. Notice that there's a pattern, it's 4 over 1, 4 over 3, 4 over 5, 4 over 7, 4 over 9, 4 over 11 L length, the length of the string being 3 meters, so that allows you to very quickly find k, which is 2 pi over lambda, with lambda being these various options. You calculate all the various k's to see if any one of them correspond to the k of our equation right here. We found three that corresponded. And then we found the corresponding omegas in each case. We found the correct omegas by plugging in omega equals 200 pi divided by lambda. The same lambda that you plug in for the k, you're going to plug in for the omega. And when the two correspond, you have a correct uh, equation that corresponds to a possible vibrational mode of the string. So that's how that's done. It takes a little while to go through that. I don't know if you can do this in three minutes. You have to work awfully fast to get this one done in three minutes. Couldn't you use the K in the, see a pattern in the K? The 5, the 7, the 9, the 11? Uh, that is true. So you're definitely correct. And let me circle that. So we have. Um, if you do this, so this could be 2 pi, uh, let's see here, um, see the pattern. You have 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, so you have 1 pi over 6, so we have 1 pi over 6. The next one is, where's that? 3 pi over 6, the next one. Uh, I missed that one, did I? Oh, right here, yeah, so this is equal to 3 pi over 6. Then 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 9 pi. So definitely you can see the pattern. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 13 over 6. So that's one way to find those. A little faster. Could be a little faster. And, um, and then to find the, once you find the corresponding k's, it's quicker to find the corresponding omegas. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about seeing that pattern. So seeing that pattern right there, and then you're right, you see this pattern right here, you save some time as well. Very good.